my people now welcome back to our life show so what you want quick talk for you today now about infertility in women infertility in women so the matter today now how to cure this infertility and number one what you need to understand is say infertility now the inability of a woman eh, to conceive Peking to conceive a child. That be what they call infertility. So, which step eh, you need to take eh, in this process of infertility where you feel graduate you enter that level of fertility? I'll just go straight to the point. Number one, number one thing that you need to consider when they tell you for us to say you did infertile. I know say good day very frustrating to some people. Good day very frustrating as in that motivation will just die down. You understand? That hopelessness could just rise up. What do you need to do in that situation? Just have faith. Don't be frustrated. Eh? I know say it go hard for some people to, to digest, but don't be frustrated. There's always hope. Eh? Doctor just tell you say you are infertile. Maybe you don't try one, two, three years, you never still get picking. You just feel say hope, not day. Hope, there's always hope. And make sure say you hold on to God. Because if you hold on to God, you will not say hope day. That be number one thing. Don't be frustrated. There's always hope. God knows the reason for everything. People day will be say they get one. People day will be say they never even get at all. Will day your stage so people will day will be say they get plenty four or five. But at the end of the day, those four or five still go. So. We not pray for bad accidents in any form or in any way. But one thing you consider is that there is always hope and don't be frustrated. That is the key point in building up your fertility. Because if you are frustrated, any process that you are not taking in terms of diet or whatever, that your frustration will be hampering their progress. So, the number one key factor to improving your fertility is staying positive and trust in God. So, number two, on how to take care of our body eh, to improve our fertility. Eh? Now, if you say, in the morning when you wake up, always take warm water as a woman. As a woman, to improve your fertility, Always take warm water. The first thing when you get out of bed, what you should do. I am use I they use English for this thing, the the journal because of some persons who will be say with the day outside the country will be say they say they want they understand the understanding they talk well way. They want to be understanding what I'm saying that I should also tip in some English. You understand? So what you should do, number two, in improving your fertility is you need to start taking warm water in the morning. First thing when you get out of bed, then what do you need to do now to get warm water? Take clean your system. Make and settle down. Wash your body. It will help your kidney. It will help your liver. That warm water in the morning, a great miracle when, when many people don't know. It will help your general being. It will make you relax eh now that will be number two thing where we say you need to do when you wake up in the morning just get warm water eh get a uh, put out a tap or cup put cold water drain and it means go warm just they take them every morning don't be frustrated just let them be your lifestyle it will make you look younger eh and you will make sure that thing will also make sure say your system it help you reduce any blockage inside and number three something you need to start doing to build up your fertility is for you to start taking fruits start taking fruits anywhere you see fruit and eh, buy fruits 
don't be tired of it not tired of buying fruits you see banana today you buy you see orange watermelon you don't need to just start to the as i just talk and just go the find money just to buy everything back, back, back. at the end of the day you can't be frustrated about how you see the buy thing. just gradually you see the pass for you see orange today you buy eh? you eat the next day you see you buy as seen just make it a regular thing in your life to always eat fruit because it will help you in the long run in terms of your general well-being your body you'll be looking younger your body will be, your blood will be flowing well you understand all these fruits will regulate your blood temperature your body temperature anything will be say they block your system eh, for your body after some time those things, eh? Those nodes or whatever inside your body, they go melt away because of the chemicals from that fruit and all these things they improve your health and your immunity against different different diseases. And the fruit will really, really, really help you. Don't underestimate the power of fruit. To build your fertility, you need to start taking all these things, fibers, zinc, and whatever. They are in fruits. And number four, you need to stop taking too much fat. Eh? Stop taking too much fat. You know what things where they chop now? Any junk food, you understand? Uh, too much of fries and whatever. You need not say you know if you fry, but you need to reduce them. People did, they just the anything uh, fast food, now they chop anything fast food that's what they eat you have to see how you can reduce all these things and number five the thing where you need to start doing now to do light exercise eh light exercise hmm? and also in combination eh reduce your stress level Reduce your stress level. If you just day like this, you know you get anything to do. You just maybe take a walk, you just walk out, stroll around. You understand? Think positively. Eh? Relax your brain. Just walk around. Think positively about yourself. Eh? Just think good about yourself. Eh? Psychologically, think good about yourself. Do light exercise. Eh? These things psychologically go build you up. In preparation for you to be fertile and for you to get that child which you are looking for you understand so all these things as I've been mentioning since eh, they go really build your body if you don't understand just re restart the video again may you play them. these things are just the measure so it will really build your body and number six maybe that exercise where i talk so do exercise and the last thing will be say eh is the key some women eh, some women eh in terms of fertility where they destroy their body in terms of fertility where they cause infertility for them that be alcohol some women Eh? They know they see alcohol. May they reason, may they get sense. That alcohol you always take is reducing your state of fertility. It's causing infertility for you. You have to see how to eliminate eliminate alcohol. Change the behavior of taking alcohol. That habit, stop it and also smoking that's number seven so if you can eliminate that alcohol from your life and smoking i tell you going through the list of what i just gave you the six list to this seventh one which uh, has to do with alcohol if you can follow this routine i tell you in no time by the grace of God, 
you will be fertile and you will come and tell us in this comment section what God has done for you. So, now so just be. Eh? Just follow all these several steps why I give you so. You go see say your life could change. It's not hard to do. Now you they look and say it's hard. It's not hard to do. In the morning you wake up, take that warm water. Just, just start from somewhere. And also, not forget to the take fruit. Don't forget to take fruit. So, these are the things where we say I want to tell you. Eh? And the Baba of all, never lose hope in God. God will see you through for this uh, issue where you did. And you are, not, you are not alone. So, I will see you for another video again. And as for the men, oh, I will still talk about on our own. Because all this uh, infertility not just relates to just uh, women. Men also, they get their own. I go do another video concerning that one. We go see for another video. We're not still blessed and positive. Now, bye bye.